stuffy and I'm the head of year two. Myself and all the teachers in year two are really, really excited to meet you all in September. Some of you may have had the chance to meet some of your teachers for next year already if you've been in their bubble during the summer term. However, we know many of you have not been able to come back to school or haven't been in the same bubble as your new class teacher. So what we thought would be really fun is if we made a video to tell you a little bit about ourselves and also to show you what your classrooms might look like in September and show you where you'll be coming into school, going out of school and also where things are like the toilets and some of the different areas that you might be using in school. and to get to know you all a little bit better. Something that you might have noticed about me is that I sound a little bit different to other teachers and that's because I'm from a place called Ireland. I'll show you some pictures in September of the little town that I'm from. I live in Stockport with my partner and also my pet dog. I absolutely love my pet dog. He can be really funny and he always keeps me laughing. Always gives me a lovely big cuddle when I get back from school every day. And sometimes he can be a little bit funny and a bit of a cheeky monkey. You'll hear lots of stories about Ralph when we get back to school in September. Another fun fact about me is my favourite number is the number nine. Because when I was nine years old, my birthday was on the ninth day of the ninth month in 1999. That was a lot of nines and that's why nine is my favourite number. I also love during half term and when we get a little bit of time away from school to go and be able to visit my family in Ireland. So I'll show you a little picture of them. That's my mum, my sister and my niece. So they're some of the people that I love to get spending time with when I'm away from school. I can't wait to see you all in September. See you soon. school this year because I've been busy at home doing my other job looking after my two little boys, Joseph who's nearly three and Jacob who's nine months old. I'm really excited to be teaching in year two again with Mrs Summers Girl. We do lots of really fun topics and I can't wait to tell you all about them. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye! Hi Mona H, I'm Mrs Summers Girl. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. Year two is such a fantastic year, you have so much to look forward to. You won't have seen me around school while you've been in year one and that's because in October I had a baby so I've been busy at home looking after him. I'd like to introduce you to Sebastian if you'd like to come and say hello. Sebastian is eight and a half months old and I just don't know where the time is going. I'd like to introduce you to two other boys that live with my husband and I and they are our whippets. We have Ollie and we have Eric and they make the best big brothers to Sebastian. One thing you'll learn about me when we meet is that I absolutely adore animals and I love to visit other countries to see them in their natural habitats. One of my happiest memories was during a trip to Antarctica when a penguin crept up behind me and started tugging on my coat. It was so cheeky. When we start year two, I'd love to hear about which animals you like and which countries you've visited or which countries you'd like to visit in the future. Take care of yourselves over the summer and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye. OB. My name's Miss Judd and you may well know by now I'm going to be your teacher when you come to year two in September. Your class will be called 2J when you come into year two. When I'm not at school I love to walk my dog, I love to ride my bike and I also like to play my viola and sometimes enjoy playing music with my friends. 
I wonder what you like doing when you're not at school. I can't wait to find out. We've got a lovely summer holiday to enjoy with our families before we come back to school in September and I hope you have some wonderful adventures. I'm really looking forward to seeing you and really looking forward to telling you all about the things we're going to do when you join us in year two. Bye for now. sunshine with your family members. My name is Mrs. Halai and I will be working with you from September when you start year two. Well, some of you know me from nursery and some of you know me as I'm working with you in year one now. I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. When I was a little girl, I lived with my parents in East Africa, a place, country called Tanzania. It is a small town called Moshi. And you know what? I was able to see Mount Kilimanjaro from there. But then when I grew up, I got married and I came to England with my husband to live here. The other thing I want to tell you about myself is I love baking cakes. I make lots and lots of birthday cakes, wedding cakes, and you name that kind of a cake. When we see each other in September, I'll show you some of my pictures. Well, I'm really, really looking forward to work with you in September. And hope you have a lovely summer, enjoy your time, and see you soon. Bye! Hi everybody, it's Miss Ahmed here, and it's so lovely to be talking to you all. Now, a lot of you don't know me because I have only worked at the junior school, so I've been working with year six, I've been working with year four, but I've never worked with year two. So I'm so excited, and I've, I have already met some of you um, who are now in year one, who you are, and you all seem amazing. So I can't wait to see the rest of you, I can't wait to meet you all. Um, so I'll be working on the fact with your teacher as a teacher assistant. So I'll be working with you individually, maybe working with you as a whole class. Um, but either way, I'm so, so excited to be working with you and to get to know you all. Um, and this is just a quick hello from me. So I can't wait to see you in September, guys. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Mrs Locke and I'm really looking forward to getting to know you all in year two. You might know me already because you've seen me in the playground or you might know me from year one's red bubble. When I'm not at Beaver Road, I really love going for long walks in the countryside with my family and friends. And I love reading and cooking and growing things in my garden. In the summer, I'm really excited to go on holiday with my family. And one of my most favorite places in the world is France. A long time ago, I used to work there. And so that I can still remember how to speak French, I still go to school. Every Monday night, I go to my French class and I learn lots of new things and enjoy spending time there with the friends that I have made. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely summer and I'll see you in September. Bye! This is one of the entrances you will come into school and leave school from. It's right next to the canteen. Around the corner from the main entrance in the canteen, you will see the AstroTurf. Next to the AstroTurf is another entrance that you might use to come in and out of year two. When you go through the main entrance for year two, on the right hand side, you will see the year two boy toilets. At the moment, these toilets are being used by different coloured bubbles. Each bubble has their own toilets and their own sink. If you follow the corridor down and turn right, 
you will find the girls' toilets. This is near the other entrance to year two. These toilets are also being used by different bubbles and it might be like this when you come to school in September. If you go back to the corridor, at the top of the corridor you will see our reading corner. It usually has an African theme with a giant giraffe at the side. You can see it's been taped off because we're not using it in school at the moment. But you will go there to change your reading books on a Friday and also when you get some free time for some quiet reading. On the left hand side of our reading corner we have the explorer room. You sometimes go there with other adults to do some learning outside the classroom. You might notice in this video that some areas around school have red and white tape. These are areas that we have not been using whilst we've been inside our bubbles. For example, we've not been using our lockers because we've been taking all of our items into our classroom. You might also notice in this video that there are red lines tapes along the floor. We've been using these red lines whilst we're in our bubbles to help us keep two metres apart when we're walking around school. There's also some arrows stuck to the floor and these arrows help remind us which way we should be walking around school and which side of the corridor we should stand on. The first classroom you see at the top of our corridor next to our African reading corner is Mrs Lowe's classroom and Mrs Kershaw's classroom. They're going to be teaching 1KL who will be known as 2KL next year. The next classroom you see has red tape on it and this is because this classroom is getting decorated. We've not had any children in there this year. It's going to belong to 2HS, Mrs Hall and Mrs Summerskill and they're going to be teaching the children from 1H in there. The next classroom you see will be 10B's new classroom. They're going to be taught by Miss Judd in this classroom and next year they'll be known as 2J. The last classroom on our corridor is going to be my classroom and I'm going to be teaching 1W. We're going to be known as 2D next year. Here are some pictures of what a year two classroom looks like whilst we've been in our bubbles during the summer term. Your classrooms might look a little bit like this in September. When you come back to school in September, school might look the same as it does in this video. It depends on how much social distancing we will need to do when you come back to school in September. We've also included in our transition booklets some pictures of what year two classrooms usually look like when we don't have to social distance. You can have a little look in our transition booklets to see what this looks like. You'll also find some fun activities in this booklet for you to do over the summer to help you introduce yourself to your new class teacher in September. Myself and the Year 2 team cannot wait to see you in September and we hope you have a wonderful summer.